Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Don of Edon Journal. Today I'll be unboxing Akaso Action Cam EK7000. Uh, I purchased this cam with along a few other things. So when I unbox this package, uh, I'll be removing the other stuff and then I'll concentrate on the Akaso Action Cam. On this channel, I review financial non-financial and travel and if you like what you see just like today please consider subscribing let's start okay so i'll remove those so here we have the castle cam cover remove the packaging so this is the box it looks like the accessories are inside the box and this is the cam Okay, so it looks like uh, the cam is in the waterproof cover and attached to a surface. So I'll just remove the screw. Okay. So here is the cam and it's in the plastic cover. Okay, I'm not sure how to take this off, which I'll figure it out later. Let's uh, take a look at the accessories in the box. Looks like we got lots of accessories. So for the price of approximately one hundred dollars, looks like the accessories are really a lot. So it's value purchase. Uh, this cam works like similar to GoPro, but you'll be paying a fraction of the cost comparing to GoPro. Okay, so here are all the accessories and the manual. So yes, it's uh, a lot, and it will take me take me some time to figure out which one is to do what. But looks this one looks like an attachment belt, and this one looks like the cover to take it under water. And here are some attachment clips and batteries. Uh, there should be two sets of batteries and attachment belt. So we have these few accessories right now. Okay, so here is the manual. Looks like uh, there are lots of uh, instruction as you get lots of accessories so it comes in uh, different languages and there is some sort of free gift card and then 
this is the manual for the remote now to open this camera from the waterproof uh, case it looks like you have to do it like like this and then it comes out and then you can actually remove the camera from the box this way okay so here's the actual camera uh, let's take a good look it's hard to believe but this camera is actually 4k ultra HD with Wi-Fi and it has lots of features for example it's waterproof you can take it to underwater and it should be uh, it comes with two different batteries and there is a built-in Wi-Fi and you can connect it to your uh, smartphone or tablet and you can see on your smartphone or when you attach it to your uh, helmet or chest and you can uh, take pictures or uh, do video shooting uh, by looking at your phone and then you can use the uh, remote control to control the camera as well so here there's a power button so actually looks like it works and I just press the power button and it says no card and these two buttons must be some sort of okay so they're just uh, buttons to turn on the Wi-Fi and other features and here it says waiting for Wi-Fi connection uh, Wi-Fi off okay and if you press this button this one looks like the power button and this one okay so it shouldn't be that complicated because the buttons are only looks like two to four two to three buttons excluding the main power button and I'll have to just you know play with it to learn how all these buttons and uh, accessories work and I'll do some video footage of uh, outside to see how the image stabilization and uh, picture quality and video quality and then later on I'll just attach it to this unboxing video so you can actually have an idea and here looks like uh, there's a HDMI cable and cable slot micro HD slot so uh, it's actually uh, in comparing the price looks like uh, this is a good buy it gives it more value than what you expect and then once we do some actual shooting then we'll be able to compare how the pictures and the video uh, look like or if it's really 4k or 10h uh, 1080p HD comparing other cameras so I'll uh, stop here right now and later on I'll go outside and do some uh, video and uh, shooting and then I'll add it to this video uh, that's all for today thank you Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Don of Edon Journal. So I have had a, a few days to go through all the settings and everything of this Akaso uh, 4K action cam and I did some video clips outside uh, which I'll be adding to this review and unboxing. Now the video you're looking at right now is uh, done with this Akaso 4k action cam uh, the picture quality of the video are good I cannot complain about that 
However, the image stabilization is not uh, that good. Uh, if you uh, notice the video, I did those while I was walking, holding my camera in my hand, and uh, the Im image stabilization was not, uh, uh, you know, perfect or not so good. It's so so. You will see that you know the video clips were uh, shaky or not, you know, that stable. And the other thing uh, <clears throat> I would like to mention that there are so many accessories, uh, <clears throat> but actually I don't know which one are for what uh, or how to use them because there is no clear explanation or manual uh, telling them how to use them. So like, you know, all these accessories kind of meaningless because uh, I do not have any... Uh, experience with any other action cam before so i was expecting uh, a manual or explanation uh, chart uh, showing how all this work now if you look at the manual <clears throat> sorry if you look at the attached uh, booklet or manual it has just only one page here is the first page second page with all the pictures third page fourth page fifth page sixth page playback and basically that's it it doesn't tell you like you know any details about uh, the accessories or anything else and, <clears throat> and the buttons I find on the cam uh, they should have something written on the button uh, explaining which one is for what use because they can be confusing so you have to just like you know try clicking on each of them to uh, figure out what to do and then the other problem I had was connecting to my phone. So I tried connecting to this camera to my uh, to my two smartphones, one tablet. And what happened, uh, it was not able to connect to all my phones. So it connected with my Sony Xperia XA phone. But when it comes to connecting to my uh one plus two somehow the software cannot connect and i was reading the review on the software on google play and i found out that many people were having similar problem connecting the phone to the smartphone i'm sorry connecting the cam to the smartphone so what it means that if you're unable to connect your camera to the smartphone you will not be used it a lot when you want to do the video uh, strapping camera on your chest or on you on your like you know helmet or anywhere because you won't be able to see what's uh, you're recording or not so that's somewhere uh, something the uh, Akaso need, needs to fix uh, so it's not able to connect to every phone so if you are buying uh, this camera uh, you are taking chances that it may not be able to connect to the smartphone you have so but if you have like you know more than one smartphone like i do or smartphone and tablet then most likely it will be able to connect at least one of them for me that's what happened so it was able to connect to my uh, xperia xa and that's why you know it's not a big deal for me but if you have just only one phone then it may not work for you connecting to your smartphone so i'll be posting this video uh, shortly and uh, you can see that uh, you'll see some uh, video clips outside uh, and i even went inside uh, tim horton uh, to do some video and uh, which will give you an example of how you know the camera works in low light or inside uh, an establishment the other thing i'd like i'd like to mention that in here in toronto if you walk uh, on the street with uh, a you know film movie cam or TV cam, people are not going to look at you uh, because it's, you know it's a common scene that you know people are doing video or movie or TV uh, shooting stuff like that. But when uh, people saw me holding this tiny cam uh, recording on the street, people were curious and actually they're looking at me because this tiny cam looks so cute and uh, so tiny that you know it drew people's attention and I had people uh, looking at me or staring at me thinking what is this 
and even some of my uh, colleagues uh, asked me if this is the tiny, uh, this is the smallest cam in the world, because uh, not many people have experienced or seen uh, this type of small cam. So uh, the overall experience, uh, I'm happy with the purchase. Uh, I'm happy with the video quality, uh, the picture quality. I only tried 10 h, uh, 10 h. 1080p or just regular HD I didn't try 4k uh, because I don't think I need that however I'm not happy with the uh, image stabilization I'm not happy with uh, the brochure or manual uh, it doesn't explain properly everything and even it doesn't explain properly how to use the cam I'm not happy with all these accessories because uh, you know you you have to like you know you don't know what to do with them unless like you know you have experience with these uh, before and also uh, I'm uh, but except that uh, I'm sorry yeah and also I'm not happy with connecting the cam or connecting the camera to the smartphone the the software you download and install from Google Play uh, to do that has a very low rating and many people face the same problem which they were unable to connect their camera to their smartphones. So in terms of uh, price and everything, uh, you know, it's a good deal. Uh, the price is very low. You cannot go wrong. However, just, uh, you know, make sure that you know the pluses and the minuses of having this cam. Uh, which I just mentioned. That's all for today. Thank you.
have one more school please? One more school. One. Yeah. Top one? Uh, yeah.
got a nice shot.